Welcome to the channel. So I got kind of a busy day ahead of me today and I figured why not get a vlog going. So uh, it's 5 a.m. in the morning and I'm getting ready to go spread some salt. I'm not sure if uh, I really need to do uh, both the properties that I do. I know one for sure. We didn't get as much rain as we thought last night, but uh, I'm one of the few people who actually use the truck for work. Check it out. Got my salt back there and my walk behind spreader. So. Uh, I got to load up a couple more bags here and then uh, we'll be on our way. Here's a shot of the 250. It's been a real slow year for snow. Uh, we, uh, we're here in January and we haven't used the new plow at all. But uh, it is what it is. We've had a few issues with the plow. So uh, it's worked out that it's been a slow year so far. But nonetheless, we are ready uh, for work. And if you've, been, if you've been watching the channel, if you've really been watching, you know I've recently done some work on this garage. Turned out pretty good. This stuff needs to be cleaned up. But, uh, let's see here. This is what I did over the last couple weeks. New pressure treated wood down here across the whole bottom. I did that side uh, last year or a couple years ago. I don't remember. But this side I did this year. Uh, so stirred up the joist and uh, pressure treated on the bottom all the way around the whole corner. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Proud of it. But I need to go ahead and put new gutters and soffits on it now. So that's an ongoing project. But check out that waste safe hitch. Whew. Definitely uh, happy with that. I don't know how it's going to hold up in the weather, but right now I got it pretty much parked under the overhang of the garage while sitting. So I, I think that will help. Uh, on the 250, I did the ballast box, where I basically built a wooden box, and uh, that's housing 700 pounds behind the rear axle. I really should have gotten new sandbags this year, but I was like, whatever, run them, run them again. They're really leaking sand all over the place, but still works, still, still gets the job done. But anyway, let me load up this salt and see you guys at the first property. All right, here at the first property, and actually, it's not really icy. Uh, no ice, it's just a little mud here. I don't know, they always get some weird drainage around this place. I don't know if it's from the neighbors or what, but, uh, we usually can salt this place no matter what, but check out this, uh, little property I got. Pretty simple, easy little thing. You just push across, uh, you just do your thing. It's real simple. It's a real simple lot, but unfortunately we haven't had to plow it this year. It's simple. You can push the snow over here onto the grass. They like to park here because it's extremely busy, so they got to park on the grass quite a bit. But uh, I would probably put the snow, I would probably try to put as much snow as possible right here. Because, you know, I'll probably cut down and try to stack the snow as much as possible here in this area. Because if I were to stack over there, then a lot of it would melt back down to the drive. And I want to try to keep as much of it from melting back down the uh melting back into the parking lot because because usually this parking lot like as you see right here this water will be an issue but it's not cold enough to freeze today because i think it's probably because we already salted it a couple times so there's look there's enough salt in in the air or in the ground for it to not be frozen so pretty cool don't have to salt it but probably will this week if we get any rain it was supposed to rain a lot more but didn't rain as much so but yeah i'm one of the few guys that actually use this f-150 for work i was gonna get a bigger salt spreader and put it on the f-150 but um i i didn't and i started using this one and realized you know for 250 300 dollars it would get the job done for the year and I really don't have a problem using walk behind spreader. So I <sighs> figured I'd wait until I can get the spreader that I really want. I want a big $5,000 spreader. But when it makes sense, I'll make the, make the deal happen. So anyway, guys, see you at the next scene. All right, back home and it's now daytime. <clears throat> and I just got to do some work at the house in the garage. Uh, but it's actually cold outside for once the first couple of cold days in a long time we haven't had any snow all year uh kind of bummed out about that 
because I got a brand new truck and plow. But at the same time, it's a good thing because the plow hasn't necessarily been ready for work. I mean, it's running and everything, but uh, certainly have uh, everything's not quite ready. I'm a little bit concerned about how tight this hose is. You know, it's fine right now, but if the plow went, were to drop down like a driveway, it seems like that hose would get a little bit tight on me. I'm not sure. This one, again, too, is pretty tight. It's not a lot of uh, slack. It's almost as if uh, maybe these should go under the frame here, but I'm not sure. It looks like um, it looks like it'd be not enough slack in this holes for the plow to drop any lower than what it is but uh anyway uh quick look at what i got going on in here in the garage all right here in the garage and here's a shot of what's going on we got the mobile one oil change for the 2018 f-150 we're going 5w30 extended performance oil with the uh extended performance uh oil filter now we're not going to do no crazy 20,000 miles or even 15,000 miles I usually just go with what the computer tells me for washer fluid we're going to go with the rain -X. that's what most people recommend it in the video so that's going to be cool and uh, we also ordered up some fluid film I just did three cans for the 250 uh, we'll spray that stuff underneath coming up soon uh, but yeah check this out I'm working on this today gotta get this uh snow blower ready this is my little Frankenstein snow blower setup where it's two snow blowers attached together but uh I need paddles and parts and all kind of crazy stuff for this so uh that's pretty much gonna be it for the video I'm gonna just work on that and uh that's it so see you guys in the next video and have a great day